Can Australia finish it off this time? Timmy Holland will do. And it's a burst from Latham. Spectacular score for Chris Latham. Well, there's a clear opening here. And there's a score within minutes of coming on for Joe Rock. Come out on the Australian side here with uh, Gregan able to fling it out and there's a gap immediately and over for the first try of the night, Tim Horan, survivor from 1991, just the start the Wallabies were asking for, the start that Romania dreaded. The ball will emerge from the ball and uh, Gregan will fire it out for the hands of Wilson. On a lovely little slick ball there, and it's the second Australian try of charging end point to tie Kepu, and Australia taking firm command already with uh, Kepu's third try for his country. Gregan will feed it like feeding the wolves. They don't mind wallabies. I thought they were hungry. And hungry they are, and they'll go for the push here, and they'll look for someone to drop on that ball. And is he there? Well, I thought it was Kefu who was uh, diving in. Yep, Kefu is the last man up. And another penalty given. And they'll run it surely. And they'll search for points. Well, that's the one way of doing it. Horan's kick. Put down by the Romanian. Oh, that's a terrible try for the Romanians to give away. The touchdown is for Jason Little. Clever kick by Horan. It really shouldn't have produced a try. Taking the return. Then Gregan. Well, there's a clear opening here, and there's a score within minutes of coming on for Joe Roffey. Could not have asked for a better introduction to the game. Absolutely, first touch of the ball. As the ball goes to ground, it is uh, another colleague who falls on it. It was actually lost by Kefu. Uh, there must surely be another score here. And guess who's got it? It's try number two for him. And Joe Roff is sending a message out here to Ron McQueen. Quickly or else, I think. Let's see what the three-quarter line uh, can achieve this time. Might not need anything because it's the big figure of the forward. Finnegan who stepped in there and Australia have a score. Surely in that corner, he's going to get the ball down. Eventually he does get the ball down to Jeremy Paul. And all across the line and just what the crowd has paid to come and see. They look uh, more willing to switch the play now. A devastating break this time by Burke. He may do it all by himself. He's still twisting, turning, getting the ball in field. They really are queuing up for this one. And Burke really deserves to score it because he had such a huge part in the move. And the man many regard as the best fullback in the world is on the try sheet. Flying through the hands, everybody who wants it. Gradually, it, uh, oh, a slicing run through the middle, Burke wanting to be in there again too. And the Romanian line must surely give way here, and it's going to be a hat-trick, his first in international rugby for Tutai Kefu. Kefu, superb, Mallon for the supports. Richard Harry over the 22. Can Australia finish it off this time? Timmy Holland will do. You know, Kepu from the Channel One ball. Gregan brings in Roth. Great chance here. Horan gets the pass out wide. It's Ben Tune. That's the clinching score then. Lovely move by the Wallabies. Tassi Moonga, who was in there, but now the first opportunity of a break for Australia. If he looks to his right, there could well be a score. Williams storming towards the line, but has he got the pace? Has he got the strength? He hasn't, but he gets the ball away. Try number one for Australia, and it's gone for Stephen Larkin. Taken on by the man with no number, but we can tell you he is Jim Williams. Not sure what happened to his number when he was in the dressing room. Whitaker, this is a try, has to be. And it's fed over onto that far side, very, very unselfishly indeed. Latham himself could have scored the try. Give me Derby there for Scott Staniford on his debut. It would be a lift for them if they could just uh, snap a one more score before the break. We're very, very close to that interval now. Oh, lost a bit of bodies there for the moment. Here comes the push, the referee into position to see if they get over, over they are, 
top score for Australia. And uh, we'll see in a moment who emerges. I think Williams, uh, no, there's one underneath Williams. There he is. It's Michael Foley. I think the Australians will be looking to post a few more tries during the second half. They'll certainly want to respond, and Larkham is responding here with a burst through the middle. Oh, he's kicked ahead, and there uh, is still going to be a score. And uh, he's uh, got the ball down, and the referee says Scott Staniford has got his second try on his debut. It's getting better and better and better for the man from Eastwood in Sydney. Excellent, Whitaker. Williams, Larkham, oh, they're opening them up now with regularity and with speed here, and it's a try on the left for Burke, but that's the most thrilling move we've seen, and it really flew through the hands there, really excellent score, well appreciated by the Limerick crowd, uh, they're so, so close as you can see to that American line, here it comes now, found out along the line, the gap's appearing, and surely he's there, surely he's there, Tian Strauss, once of South Africa, now very much of Australia, has the score. Australia get ball here. And, uh, feel that uh, a score might very well be on the cards. Kefa. Uh, the score is on the cards, and it's a burst from Latham. Spectacular score for Chris Latham, only second score for Australia. Beautifully worked manoeuvre that, and how he's enjoyed the try. A little skipping around the play and the burst through the middle here. And if he's got the legs, he might go all the way. Latham, he'll be very generous indeed. And he'll give the score to Chris Whitaker from the Randwick Club. Whitaker second for Australia. And the Australians have turned it over again. And they've got an overlap on the side again. Wyatt misses his man. Gregan inside. And he's over. Try Australia. Sloppy play by Wales to lose the ball in the first place. Sinkinson lines up his man, but out goes the ball to Herbert. Larkham, chip and chase. Has he got there? Yes, he has! Ben Tune goes screaming in for what might well be the decisive try. Tremendous speed. Horan. Can he get away? Yes, he can. Sinkinson can't get him. Bateman tries. The ball goes forward. Well, the referee saying it wasn't a knock-on. Gavith James had surely touched that down. Well, if there was any question of it, Scott Grinnell going mad at the referee. The referee claiming there was no touchdown and giving the try. Good continuity now from the Australians. Almost clear, Matt Burke. Driving on, now this is really dangerous. Oh, and Gregan looking the wrong way, then going himself. Horan, Finnegan. Try in the corner. I think it's Ben Tune who got over. And the Australians know that that's what could be the decisive moment. Ben Tune it is. He replaces Michael Foley. John Eels comes up with it at the second attempt. Lovely inside pass. Gregan to Finnegan. Go for the line, man. And he gets there. For a moment, I thought he was not going to go for it. <laughs> Incredible. It all opened up for him. And he was still looking for support. Through the middle and to Mac. Quick one from Castanhead, Ben Azzi, but the pass goes into touch. And that is it. Andre Watson brings down the curtain on the 1999 Rugby World Cup. Australia the winners, 35 to 12. They become the first country to win the trophy twice. A second trophy for their captain, John Eels, as well. He was part of that side in 1991, along with Tim Horan, along with Jason Little. John Eels, he must have been wondering at one stage whether he was going to be fit to play in this World Cup. He had a bad shoulder injury, and he really didn't play.
play any rugby before this World Cup this season. But there he is now, receiving the trophy from the Queen. All six foot seven of him.